Today, we are going to discuss about plant regeneration pathway in plant tissue culture in biotechnology. So, plant regeneration. How the plant is regenerated from X plant. So, there are two, that is the regeneration takes place by stomatic embryogenesis or organogenesis. This we are going to see in detail. So, first one is, that is we are going to see in the flowchart form, the plant regeneration pathway. So, you can see here from the X plant. So, the, from the X plant, you can see a line, the flowchart line. From the X plant, direct embryogenesis is seen. And from the X plant, you can see the meristem and the shoot. Meristem and the shoot apex so the meristem and the shoot apex this combines this meristem and shoot apex which is taken from the let us x plant can be used for virus free plantlets can be developed from this meristem and shoot apex and next the stem leaf and root and callus so from the stem the in the node region from the nodal region of the stem, the multiple shoot induction that is micro propagation can be takes place. From that, the root can be induced. That is called root induction. So, from the root, you can uh, produce a new plant. And from the root induction, plantlets are produced and the plantlets are exposed to the uh, hardening. Hardening, the transfer of plantlets to the nursery beds, nursery beds to the fields. So, that was taken place here. And the next procedure that is next we are going to see is the direct embryogenesis and indirect embryogenesis. So, the indirect embryogenesis first we will see. It takes place from the callus. Okay. From the callus, the indirect embryogenesis, shoot induction. You can see the shoot is induced. Even the root is also induced. So, root induction and shoot induction can be taken place indirectly in embryogenesis. And from this, the plantlets are produced and these plantlets are transferred to the nursery beds and then exposed to the natural environment in the fields. This is indirect. Direct means that is embryoids are used in this process, direct embryogenesis. The embryoids are used from the embryoids. The plantlets are developed. The plantlets are transferred to the nursery beds, uh, nursery beds and to the natural environment. That process is called hardening and the transfer of field, transfer to the field. So, this is the flow chart of the plant regeneration. And the next it is the plant regeneration pathway. So, you can see this plant regeneration pathway. So, the first one is the from the plant parts that is the leaves, buds that is what are the regeneration they are that is regenerate the parts. The X plant here you can so the bud region, the nodal region and the, the leaf you know, this is the bud region. So, these are all acting as the X plant. So, from the X plant you can see this callus. So, the callus gives rise to the stomatic embryo because the, they are taking from the vegetative parts. The body cells only. They, here they are not using the germ cells. So they, they formed the um, stomatic embryos here. This stomatic embryo leads to the formation of new plantlets. Okay. This one process. Another thing. From the X plant. That is from the X plant. The direct embryogenesis can also take place. So, the explant can lead to the embryo and this leads to the direct embryogenesis. And here, that is, in direct embryo, that is, this is stomatic embryogenesis. And the direct organogenesis also can be taken place from the explant. The direct organs like root, shoot can be, takes place. So, the root is regenerated here. So, the root is regenerated in from the root a new plant is taken place and in the callus indirect this is the callus indirect the root organogenesis this is an indirect one so if the embryo come out it is a direct one if uh, organ that is 
indirect means the root or shoot comes from first means this is indirect embryogenesis so that is shoot organic root organogenesis and shoot organogenesis is taking place and this is the indirect stromatic embryogenesis takes place which leads to the new plant leg so this is also one of the method of plant regeneration pathway which takes place from the explant so the explant is the main reason stromatic embryogenesis the formation of embryos from the callus tissue directly or these embryos are called embryos are formed from in vitro cells directly from pre embryonic cells which differentiated into embryoids so stromatic embryogenesis means the formation of embryos from the callus is called embryoids embryoids or it takes place from the pre embryonic cells which is done in the in vitro inside the laboratory that is also considered as embryoids so this process is called stromatic embryogenesis applications the stromatic embryogenesis provide potential plantlets which after hardening period can established into plants so the stromatic embryogenesis that is it gives rise to the plantlets and after that the transfer to the environmental um, uh, environment transfer to the environment uh, that is the hardening process takes place it the plant has to establish in the environmental natural environmental condition Stomatic embryoids can be used for the production of synthetic seeds. So the synthetic seeds can be produced from stomatic embryoids. Stomatic embryogenesis is now reported in many plants such as Allium sativa, garlic, Hardium vulgar, barley, Oryza sativa rice, Zea maize, maize, and 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 in another plants also we can see this stomatic embryogenesis. and synthetic seeds so they are produced by the encapsulation of embryos in an agarose gel or calcium alginate so the synthetic seeds are produced using the calcium alginate or agarose gel and it is the embryos are encapsulated the encapsulated embryos are called synthetic seeds which are produced from calcium alginate or agarose gel this they may ask in your one mark is as well as in your neat exam organogenesis the morphological due to the morphological changes occurs in the callus which lead to the formation of root or shoot is called organogenesis so you can see from the callus the shoot is developed that is called callogenesis and the root is developed that is called rhizogenesis from this the plantlets arises then it is called organogenesis so organogenesis can be induced in vitro so they are done everything can be done in the in vitro inside the laboratory using the ms medium so and auxins and cytokinins are the growth hormones to induce the root and shoot so they shoot formation for root and shoot formation they need auxins and uh, cytokinin okay for the growth cell elongation and growth so we need auxins and cytokinin hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box if you want to watch the video in tamil i have given the link in the description box you can go and watch it give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel